press pause and answer the question. All right, so here we're trying to find out how many minutes it takes for the sun to reach the Earth. So this is a correct answer. It's eight minutes. But let's figure out how we got there. So we're given two numbers. We're given that the speed of light is 300 million meters per second. That's its rate. And that the Earth is roughly 149 million kilometers from the sun. So anytime this comes up, we should say, okay, let's pay special attention to the units because it's asking us how many minutes. So it's giving us the distance in kilometers, it's giving us the speed in meters per second, and it's asking us how many minutes, even though the speed was in, in units per second. So we're going to have to make some, some transitions. Now, it's kind of hard to know where to begin in these situations, but in general, you'll want to begin with the one that's not a rate. So this 300 million meters per second, that's a ratio. Meters per second is like a fraction, right? And this other 149 million kilometers, that one's not a ratio. It's just an actual hard and fact, absolute, in this case, distance. So in general, when in doubt, start with that one. It'll usually work out best. Anyhow, that's my pro tip for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this 149 million, and that's in kilometers. So we'll put the units there, kilometers. And we want to turn that into minutes. How do we turn kilometers into minutes? Well, we keep multiplying by one. So as long as the value in the denominator is somehow equal to the value in the numerator, then we can multiply it and not affect the original value. So in this case, we're going to want to change these kilometers to meters because we want to deal in meters per second later. So we're going to say, OK, let's uh, put the kilometers. We're going to multiply by 1, but we want this kilometer value here to, to go away. So we'll put the kilometer value in the bottom, and we'll put the meter value in the top. And you know there's a 1,000 meters per every one kilometer. And so just temporarily, we'll just ghost out these two kilometer labels here. All right, then we're going to wind up with something in meters. But we still need to turn it into time. And so we know we have 300 million meters per second. So we'll put meters on the bottom, and we'll put seconds on the top. And we, we know we have 300 million, 300,000, 300 million meters per second. And so we say one second is equal to 300 million meters. And so we can ghost out our meters. And now we have a value here, right here, in seconds. But we still have to turn it to minutes. So we'll put seconds on the bottom and minutes on the top so that these two can cross out eventually. And how many seconds in a minute? Well, there's 60 seconds in one minute. And the reason for this is, uh, you probably already know this, but the reason for this is it can sometimes be a little bit confusing when you're trying to just remember whether or not to multiply or divide. You know it's one or the other, you're just not sure which one. And by always making sure that anything we want to cancel out then becomes on the denominator of the, of the uh, next term, then we can effectively change the units. So we cross out these kilometers for real, we cross out these meters for real, we cross out these seconds for real, and we wind up with something in minutes. So if we work this all out, 149 million times 1,000, divided by 300 million times 60. And what we get is approximately eight minutes. That's our answer.